Riders, it's Josh from CycleHunters.com. And feast your eyes upon that. Wow, I mean, yeah. If you haven't seen one of these before and you're really not sure what it is, well, besides reading the description of the video, this is a 2013 Victory Vision Tour. So, what is this bike? Obviously, it's a large touring model, but now, this is somewhat more, I would think, is going to be a collector's item at some point. Because when do you see a bike that looks like that? The company Victory made this bike, and when it came out, it was very polarizing in many different ways because the traditionalists look at something like this, and they sit and scratch their heads and wonder why you're changing up a tried and true design. Everybody else is like, holy cow, that thing has got some great lines. It's a beautiful bike. It maybe reminds you of something of streamliners and you know aerodynamic stuff like that. Things that just sort of don't really fit in the norm. So if you're a Goldwing person, but you wanted a twin, there you go. If you're somebody that has ridden Harleys and you wanted something different, well, there you go. It is hard to say this thing is not stunning because it realistically is a bike that has just got everything that you could want in a touring model. The paint is a gorgeous candy red and you can see that pretty good in the sunlight here. We're outside because this thing is not gonna go into the showroom, just is way too big. You have floorboards, both front and rear. You have every amenity that you could imagine on this machine. Check out the exhaust. I mean, it's got that Gatling gun look to it. It's an all stock machine. It is a 106 cubic inch motor. So that is 1737 cc's of raw power. So if you and a passenger are getting ready to take a trip somewhere, well, you're not gonna have to worry about it and your passenger is definitely gonna have some comfort. You can see that the speaker system, the whole way around, is very similar to what you would find on any other touring machine. But as we get into this, there's a couple blemishes, like this right there, these little spots. There's all that type of stuff on any bike, but most of the stuff that you see, it's small stuff little ones there here and there it's nothing super huge and that's sticking out a little bit right there the motor looks awesome I mean just the spot where this motor is stuck in amongst the swoopy curves of this bike it does sort of give you the sense that it's a jewel in the midst of a of a setting for a ring or something like that it just kind of has that that feel that appeal to it the saddlebags on these things are so big and they're just so good looking. The form fit it has the, the little bag in there as well. You have your top case in the rear. This also has the manuals with it. All kinds of cool stuff. Rack for the rear. Again, here's the other one see that also has the victory bag there looks really good it's a bike that if you've ever ridden one of these you'll know pretty much right away the comfort level on this is extremely high it is really really like that now also with the fact that it's modern technology a 2013 machine you don't have a whole lot in the way of what you would normally attribute to these types of bikes in terms of the weight distribution. Now you can see a little bit here, a little bit there for the blemishes. But again, uh, you know, it carries its weight really well. It feels low in the chassis so that you can maneuver this bike at slow speeds with you and a passenger on it. Lots of really great features. Heated hand grips. This has Turn it on here. Look at the windscreen. So if you need a little bit less, you get a little bit less. Right here, if you want a little bit more protection, 
You got more. Dash has 41,923 miles on it. It looks awesome for 41,000 miles. Layout's pretty simple. You have your turn signal selectors up top. You have your high beam, low beam, your gas light, your ABS light, your neutral light, your battery light, your check engine, your oil lights. You have uh, your hazard lights. You have your other light for the light bar up in the front. You have your victory radio, your presets. All that stuff is on here. And you can pretty much control it right from here and here as well. Your cruise control is over here. Your on off, your high beam, low beam, which I'm not really gonna be able to see it too well out in the daytime. But they do work. So looking at this thing overall, again, gorgeous looking bike really sleek lines to it it is a bit polarizing so if you're a traditionalist maybe you don't like it but if you're a bike person and you like two wheels and a motor and it, the configurations are pretty much endless well here is a great example of that gorgeous machine has abs like i said the deflectors on it give you that extra added protection oh yeah just a good looking machine just looking at this thing you want to go ride it for a long distance. So here we go. Starts right up. It's got a nice grumble rumble to it. It's not ridiculous. It is muffled somewhat because it is a stock pipe. But it's not something that's going to wake up the neighbors and drive them nuts. And it, similarly, when you're on the highway and you're running, it's going to be smooth and a little bit more quiet than probably any of the other bikes, obviously, with, um, with some sort of an aftermarket. But they are a little bit louder than what you might think from a stock pipe. It's got enough attitude, I would think. Not too bad. It's definitely putting a smile on my face. So looking at the front of this thing, look at that. See if I can reach the high beam, low beam. So this is high beam, and the previous was low beam. Now that little button up on the front turns this one on right here. And then you have your signal indicators. And look at that. That's pretty that's pretty simple to see and it's nice and lit. You can see it there too in the back. That's just gorgeous. Kind of reminds you a little bit of a Cadillac. It's got that that sleek elegance to it. There's your right rear. There's right front. Cancel. Oh, that sounds good. We're gonna like that a lot. Nice fuel gauge up here. Your uh, speedometer, your tack. Again, your dash is pretty simple to figure out. It's not that difficult. That's a very cool horn. Very European, somewhat like a Ferrari, I would think. Chrome on this is minimal. There's not too much. And again, it does give you that sense where the motor sitting in the chassis the way that it does surrounded by the lines it does sort of feel as though it's that jewel in the midst of a setting of a ring setting it's just a cool looking bike folks i mean come on the beautiful thing about motorcycles is there's no real rule to how they gotta look it just comes down to the eye of the beholder beauty's in the eye of the beholder right so personally i love it i think it's awesome but there are seldom bikes that come through the shop like that, that are so unique that you kind of almost say they're rare. We've had a couple here in the, in the past couple years, but I mean, by far, this is probably the nicest one that I've seen. Very, very few blemishes, like I said, on here. A couple little nicks, a couple little scrapes, but overall, a beautiful bike. And like every bike that we have, it has gone through the 48-point checklist that we use. And basically, 
oil and filter, easy stuff. This has got the treatment that we would expect uh, from anybody that is doing these types of bikes or any bike for that matter at a high level so oil filter basic things we check the charging system anything that we can do to make sure that when you get this bike it's as close to 100 percent as we can make it and it is it's it's gorgeous it runs smooth it's great it's a fun machine to ride it is right side belt driven as you can see under there large floorboards boy i mean holy cow look at those look at look at that that's just nice it's so comfortable very inviting so if you want a unique bike something that is absolutely out of the norm when you pull into the bike night or wherever you're going it's going to turn heads no question it is a head turner stunning machine i mean the lines of this bike it's just so cool and if you're a bike lover you love them all really for different reasons and this one <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cool it is so cool so like I said we're checking the charging system got the battery tender lead on there everything that we could do to make sure that this bike is ready to go we've done it she's ready to roll we have financing options available can deliver bikes in some cases we can ship them Whatever it is that we need to do to help accommodate you so that this baby can be in your garage, let us know. So if you're digging the 2013 Victory Vision Tour, give us a call at 717-273-1809. And you can see the full list of inventory at www.cyclehunters.com. You can email us at cyclehunters at gmail.com. And let us know what we can do. But again, just the big walk around on this bike shows you that the thing is in really nice shape. It's got a real inviting chassis. When you sit on this thing, it's not super high. It's actually pretty low to the ground. So you sit in the machine, it feels really comfortable. It's got the little slot here. So if you need a uh, backrest for the driver, you can even put one of those on. Nice heel toe shifter. Look, overall, this bike not only is a stunning machine but it runs super smooth so if you've ever ridden one you already know but if you haven't i'm just letting you know that you will jump on this thing and be pretty comfortable right away especially if you've ever ridden a touring bike it doesn't carry the weight like you might think it does it's actually low in the chassis it feels really really comfortable to maneuver it around gorgeous gorgeous bike boy oh boy so i hope you enjoy it i hope you like and subscribe it's just so cool to see this stuff. <laughs> it's an awesome looking bike. Well, my friends, until the next bike, happy riding.